The following clip was taken from the live question and answer session that we had last night. The majority of the questions dealt with parenting and children, and one of the questions was about honoring your parents, even if your parents are abusive. And during that time, uh, Tim shared about his own father and his dad's death. Oh, my dad, my dad was such a wicked man. I, I would sometimes pray in the same prayer, God, kill him or save him, because he was such, such, oh, he, I'd want God to kill him because I wanted God's honor, and my dad would dishonor God, and I pleaded he'd kill him or save him, and uh, I think we can, we can honor our parents by praying for them. We can, honor, we can honor them by striving to maintain a relationship. We can honor them by, I mean, if there's difficulties, if there's some kind of breaches in the relationship, certainly as much as possible, we need to be at peace with all men, including our parents. I mean, I think we need to strive. They are our parents, and we do need to strive to honor them. Someone asked if your dad ever got converted. What I know is this, when my dad got cancer, it sobered him up. My dad was not a sober man, he was a drunk. He, he would mock God, but when he got cancer, his mocking left. My dad called me. When, when he told, the day he called me to tell me he had cancer, he told me, Tim, I'm in trouble. I need your help. God used John MacArthur's gospel according to Jesus in my life, so I thought maybe he'll use it in my dad's. So I immediately had a copy sent to my dad, which after my dad died, I found that book, and I saw there were pages dog-eared. It looked like my dad had read that book maybe a couple times. Um, he would call me and he would say, Tim, I'm calling upon the Lord. So that's what I would tell him. Dad, call upon the Lord. Call upon the Lord. He would say, I'm calling on the Lord. He said, but I don't think God wants anything to do with me after all the things that I've done. But I said, Dad, you're reading MacArthur's book. He said, yes. I said, you know, MacArthur talks a lot about the parable of the prodigal son. I said, do you remember that? In such and such place? Do you remember that parable? The father that had the two sons? I said, dad, which son did the father receive? And it's like a light went on with him. And then, I, I mean, he, it, it, it made sense to it. He saw it. But it, I don't know what happened. When my dad, my dad asked me to preach his funeral, when I preached it, I told the people, I don't know. I said, you all know my dad was not a good man. But I said, I've come here. My dad wanted me to speak to you. I said, I've come here to tell you that God saves bad people. I said, you know, my dad was not a good man. I said, he's my dad, I can say that. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna gloss this thing over. I'm not gonna make it look good. You, they know my dad had a foul mouth. My dad was a womanizer. My dad was a drunk. My dad was a chronic liar. He had one of the most filthy mouths you could ever hear on a man. But my dad was calling on the Lord at the end. And I told those people that place was, I never saw many friends my dad had. That, that funeral home full of all that Conway family. And I thought, here's my opportunity. And I told him, I don't know if God saved my dad, but I know he was calling on the Lord. And I know whether my dad saved or not, if he could come back right now, I know what he'd tell you. 
And that's what I told him. When I went to my brother's that night, so my dad died in my brother's front room in a hospital bed. They, they brought a hospital bed in there, and, and uh, that's where he spent his last days. My brother told me, my brother was shaken up. He said, Tim, I would come in, into the front room, and he said, Dad, Dad wasn't even able to talk anymore but he'd have his arms lifted up to heaven and he'd be calling out. I think my dad was calling on the Lord right up till the end. Whether God saved him, only eternity is going to tell. But I know this, my dad was a sinner. He was a great sinner. And I know that Christ came to save sinners and he was calling on the Lord. And so that's, it, it at least leaves me with some hope that maybe, I'm, I'm hoping.